Hello everybody, this is Dave from RedgerCityTV.ca and David Meisker Films. I just want to do a quick little, um, let's see here, so, sorry. on the new uh, Mac Pro, sorry, on the new um, Mac OS Sierra, uh, I've just been starting to play around with the, um, uh, just get here, make sure what I'm on here. 432 uh, on the compressor on um, now to show you my OS here I'm on uh, Sierra 1012.5 I'm on a Mac Pro 5.1 early 09 um, and I have a uh, sorry I have a in Nvidia PC card GTX 570 uh, with two NetGigs gigs around. And now that's uh, now you know what I've got going here. Um, what I want to talk about is for a few minutes here is the uh, is the new um, color space uh, that you now can get with. Uh, I'll just go full screen here. Uh, the new color space you can get um, in uh, compressor. Now what I'm doing here, I'll just show you what I'm doing here, is uh, I have an image sequence, a TIFF uh, image sequence, and uh, what it is, I converted uh, some Magic Lantern to an uh, experimental 10-bit, um, to, uh, sorry, 2144 by 1076 um, files, and I made it into TIFFs um, just because uh, compressor, of course, as you know, can't handle raw, so you need to get it into, you need to burn in your color space and uh, your color information into your raw file. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this, there's, I could have went through Resolve, um, but I wanted to experiment uh, with the new color space in Final Cut. So, Anyways, I'll just show you what I'm doing here. Is um, I'm all my image sequences are on my RAID. Uh, sorry, on my NAS box uh, on a RAID five um, unit. So I'm going across my network, so I don't have to keep these files uh, on the local drives, and it works very fast. Um, so, and of course, you know, it defaults to 30 frames a second. So I have to choose 23. Um, 976 that's where we quartered at and of course it is progressive scan and here we go here's our color space um, normally you'll get a rec uh, 709 is default but the um, proper uh, color space really for any of these raw images uh, especially when you're doing a log uh, pro uh, a log um, pipeline and such is that really you should be working with the 202020. Now you notice up here there's a little triangle and what it says here is compressor does not display the wide color space but wide color space will be encoded correctly into the exported file. So that's why that's there. And okay so now you've sort of seen how that gets set up. Now what I do is, um, I have chosen, of course, because I'm using a wide, a wide color space. Um, you need to use four 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 XQ. Now the XQ has the bandwidth you need um, to encode to the uh, twenty twenty twenty, and. Um, so it is supported properly. Um, now the only thing I do, let's just go to here and you can see it's automatic, automatic, it picks it up as source and I just chose, I could have went automatic and oh, go to that one, that's weird. So I chose 202020 and then usually what I also do uh, you, you can or cannot do this, but I do this all the time, is I uh, turn off the gamma correction. I don't want gamma correction. Okay. 
So that's just my preference. And because uh, Magic Lantern, um, I'll just zoom in here a bit. Okay, here we go. So this is kind of cool. It's got the little box in there. It comes up ahead, but I did that for a reason. I just wanted to crop this side because that's actually um, that's actually the end of the frame, and and because Magic Lantern only records twenty one forty four, um, so it leaves a, there's a little bit of a dead space there. So we just need to crop the right side a bit, and I think if I'm not mistaken, it's fifteen. Uh, I guess I the keyboard connected. But I think it works out to. 2130. 2130. There we go. Yeah, 15. Okay, so we'll just go to fit again. And there we go, it's gone. And if you have a good network connection on a NAS box, you can run actually all your files off there to do any kind of trans encoding. Okay, now so we want to change our location because source is on the uh, is on the uh, on my NAS box, which I don't want it. I want it to move locally, and I'll just throw it to my RAID here and right here, and then there's the file. I had a file here, I'm already done, so I'll just choose that. Okay, so once that's done, I'll just show you now. Um, there's all your information there. Okay, so I'll just. Uh, minimize here Go back to here I just want to show you the file that I have that I made earlier just so you know and uh, we'll just do good information and there you go I just wanted to show you this here okay there's what I cropped there's there it is so there's your color space right there BT 2020 uh, 919 now if you were doing um, if you were doing uh, HD uh, color profile um, we'll just go back to here copy I did one right here uh, now is this is, yes okay now this one here you can see I, I was doing another uh, screen capture there and I was just using um, ProRes 422 LT uh, I didn't need a lot I'm just doing a screen capture so I didn't need, didn't need a lot of uh, bandwidth and you can see in HD color space it is 111 and that re just is reflective of your RGB colors really basically the three colors so in XQ, it uh, obviously if it if this is RGB, uh, the G which would be green is not. It's just a one ratio to where nine and nine is. I couldn't tell you exactly what this all means. The nine one nine is, but from what I understanding here, it says RGB. So each value is one one one, and here you get nine value to one value to nine value. So, but anyways. That's how you get your expanded color space. And then when you import that into Final Cut, you should have that retained. So then you could actually work on your wide color space without clipping. Okay, so just close that off, close that off, and close that off. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, pretty interesting stuff. And uh, it, it'll help you... Uh, get your lows and your 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 shadows and your highlights without without uh, really uh, losing anything so if you're looking for the ultimate uh, wide color space there you go and you can choose whatever you like so okay so this is uh, Dave this is Dave from Red Deer City TV and David Maiska Films uh, hope you have a wonderful uh, week and day. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.